Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Bob Rubaki and I'm a consultant with Pragmatic Works. And I was recently working on setting up a demonstration of Azure SQL Data Warehouse and I came across this great resource I wanted to share with you today. And it's a tutorial from Microsoft that allows us to very easily load a pretty large sample data set into Azure SQL Data Warehouse for free. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about this and share uh, some of what I, I learned from this great, great tutorial. So this screenshot here is just an image from the, the tutorial page. You can find this by doing a search for that tutorial of loading New York taxi cab data to Azure SQL Data Warehouse. And a little bit about this data set. It's pretty widely used. It's a publicly available data set. Uh, it has about 170 million records for uh, taxi trips, and it includes things like the location of where the passengers were picked up and dropped off, and then information about how long the trip was as far as distance and the amount of time that it took, and then also the amount of the fare and a tip, uh, if there was a tip provided. So I've seen this data set used for building predictive analytic models trying to determine the amount of a tip a passenger might provide or quite simply whether or not a tip will be provided based on certain things so anyway this is a pretty commonly used data set and microsoft has provided a tutorial and access to the data pretty easily for us to use so if you browse out to that page, a lot of what's at the beginning of it includes setting up an Azure SQL Data Warehouse, etc. But if you have all of that set up, you can skip down to the section here that's labeled Create External Tables for Sample Data. And this is really where uh, the whole importing of this sample data uh, comes into play. Now the nice thing about this is that Microsoft has made available on a uh, Azure Blob Storage site the data that's required. It's completely free. You don't need uh, a username or password. Uh, and the instructions in this tutorial direct you exactly how to do this. And it was really, really handy for me as I was preparing my demo. So why is this data set good? Why would you want to do this? Uh, you can create a Azure SQL Data Warehouse based on a sample database, which I believe is the AdventureWorks database, which is okay. It's a good way to get started if you're kind of new to data warehousing and, and the Azure SQL Data Warehouse platform. But this data set is much larger in size. So again, talking about roughly 170 million records. Uh, and so it's a good way to start testing performance of Azure SQL Data Warehouse. Uh, it's also good to start uh, using a data set like this to practice the techniques for creating tables in Azure SQL Data Warehouse and maybe testing out some of the different storage mechanisms uh, and, and some of those features that are available in Azure SQL Data Warehouse. The other great thing, and the tutorial walks through this in, in great detail, is using Polybase. And using Polybase is a very common pattern for importing data either from blob storage or from Azure Data Lake storage into your Azure SQL Data Warehouse. And so Walking through this tutorial is a great way to learn about Polybase uh, with some, some real data. So it's a fantastic resource. I encourage you to check it out. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions about this or the Azure SQL Data Warehouse or the Azure SQL Data Platform, please reach out. Let us know. Thank you.